This video is about a Portuguese woman named Luisa de Jesus, who was a serial killer in the 18th century. Although many believe the first Portuguese serial killer was Diego Elves, the true title holder was Luisa, who was responsible for the murders of many innocent babies. Luisa grew up po and got married to a man named Manuel Gomez. She worked as a carrier, but it was a low-paying job, and keeping a roof over her head and food in her belly was very hard. After a few years, she came up with a wicked plan that would pay a decent wage, but at a twisted and truly evil cost. Luisa discovered that those who took in unwanted babies would get a crib, wool, and rice which was a large amount back in the 1770s. She realized that the reward for taking in and raising someone else's child was appealing to her. The only problem was she had no intention of keeping the babies once the money and goods were given to her. She began visiting location that had a thing called a foundling wheel or a baby box. These devices were basically post boxes for babies, a place for mothers who could not care for their child to place their baby inside and spin them so that they were placed inside the building to keep them safe until a nurse or care could find them. Despite people believing these devices prevented newborn babies from dying, an 1813 report claimed that three quarters of children abandoned on the wheel died. Louisa would claim to be a woman looking to adopt or had been sent on behalf of a client, happy that the baby was supposedly going to a loving home. The babies were handed over, and once the baby was inside the home of Louisa, she smothered or strangled them to death before stopping their tiny corpses in clay pots and burying them in her garden. These heinous and unthinkable crimes went on for years, with the killer visiting different areas to make sure people didn't get suspicious. By the age of 22, Louisa had adopted 34 babies, all of whom never saw past their first birthday. On the 1st of April 1772, Louisa went about the act she had done so many times before. She went to the location with the foundling wheel and asked for two children to give to the couple who were longing to care for them. However, this time, Louisa was caught and was described in a document written in 1772 as a monster with such a perverse and corrupt heart that there would be no easy example in the present century. Despite history being cruel and not much is known about Louisa de Jesus, this woman would pay for her crimes. A few days after the discovery of the bodies, Louisa was captured and brought to trial. She confessed to the murders and was sentenced to death by hanging. Her execution was carried out on September 19, 1772, in Lisbon. The case of Louisa de Jesus is a disturbing reminder of the dark and twisted nature of human beings. Her crimes were motivated by greed and a lack of regard for human life particularly the lives of innocent babies. While her case may have been forgotten by many, it serves as a warning of the dangers of unchecked greed and the importance of safeguarding vulnerable individuals in our society.